right, all right, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube fans? Coming guys today with a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick little tip about the PlayStation that everybody that owns a PlayStation 5 at this point needs to know. Earlier, I made a video, and in that video, I was talking about the brand new DualSense Edge that is set to release next month and how I personally feel like that controller is a big ripoff. And one of the reasons being is about the analog sticks, guys. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to be telling you guys a quick little secret about the analogs that a lot of people don't know. So if you go way back to a couple of years ago when the PlayStation first released, um, it was really similar to the PlayStation 4 release of the system because the PlayStation 4, there was an issue with the analogs where if you just kept on rubbing on them, then eventually the stick on the analog stick itself would just completely peel off. Anybody that got a PlayStation 4 at launch will instantly know what I'm talking about, where if you literally played it for over a week straight, then it would just get really bad and you would end up going through your controller in no time. So with the PlayStation 5 releasing, they also had an issue with their sticks where the stick life to it was only about like a month or two. Literally, I believe they said it was like 3,000 hours or not 3,000 hours, like 300 hours or something crazy small like that. And then once those 300 hours were up, then there would be massive stick delay, stick drift, and you would pretty much have a brick controller in your hands and you would have to get a new one and pay another $75 instantly. A lot of people in the community, they complained about that and Sony actually ended up finally fixing it, but Sony subtly fixed it and they didn't really tell anybody when they fixed it. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you really quickly what the fix is. So if you guys are looking on your screen right now, you're gonna be seeing a picture of a controller that ends in CT1, and then you're gonna be seeing a controller that ends in CT1A. If you have a controller that says CT1 and it does not have an A in there, you need to get rid of this controller and ship it off somewhere, sell it, just get rid of it, get it out of your possession. Because if it says CT1 and it does not have the letter A inside there at the end, then that means your controller is an original manufactured from the launch PlayStation. They still got a million, millions of them because you guys got to think when the systems come out, they still make millions of controllers that they can sell to consumers. Um, and you got one that was probably in a warehouse somewhere that didn't sell. And then now they're just trying to shove off their stock. Um, you can probably still find these places. I know that most of them in store are switching over to CT1A but you can still probably find them in like big lot stores. Maybe if you're in a small town and you have only like one Best Buy or one Target, then they're gonna be still there. Or maybe they try and pass them off to you on Black Friday for a sale. I know for a fact that if you currently still only buy the white one and you get the one that's on sale at Amazon uh, for $49.99, that's because the sale is of those older controllers that have the lesser uh, hardware inside them with the analog sticks. So if you guys want to make sure that you get the decent controller, make sure it has CT1A in it. Look at your controller right now, and then at the end of this video, leave in the comment section below that you guys click, uh, looked and saw that you had CT or CT1A. Let me uh, know if this helps you guys. And if there's any more tips, then I'm definitely gonna get that out in the next video, guys. I'll catch you next time.